Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hey, how are y'all? Let's uh, look at this way. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, Laurie and I are out here today, kind of getting tossed around. We've got an east wind going against the current, so it's kind of tossing us around. But it's not really rough. But we were just out. We haven't had the boat in the water in quite some time, so we came out to troll some baits out here in about 600 feet, just goofing around. And lo and behold, bang, Laurie gets a, a mahi right off the bat. Yeah, and I see birds right over there. So I do too. Head that way. All right, you guys come go with us. We're going to chase some more of these dolphins. Maybe we'll get some. Hang with us. We'll see what we get. So we've got birds right up in front of us. And all we're doing is just, whew, it's bouncy out here, y'all. We're just pulling two little trolling baits. No ballyhoo on them, just naked bubblers. And uh, these little small mahi out here are eating them up pretty good. We're about to go through some birds. Maybe you can see this. Hopefully you can see those birds. Man, it's hard to drive a boat, fish, and try to film. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, let's see what we get. We're going right through the birds right now. If the birds tell the story, which they normally do, our rod should go off any minute now any second now like right now like right now do it do it do it sorry he's got a mahi on Because he's on there. <laughs> you weren't reeling anything before. Oh, well that's why. Yeah. Apparently I'm bad on shape. No, I think he's pretty decent. I know you guys couldn't see that. That fish right there had both our trolling lures in his mouth. That is crazy. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> yeah, he, had, he had the other lure in his in his mouth, and he had this one in his fin. Oh wow! Yeah. That's a key. Can you get that cooler? Hey, some fresh mahi for a change. All right, dinner. Good job, man. Well, no sooner we put the camera down, and Mari got hit again. Can't tell what it is. I don't know if it's a mahi or a tuna. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Let's see. Out there. Yeah, looks like another mahi. Yep, there's some mahi with it. I'm gonna have to put the camera down just so I can do anything. No one we got, honey. Got a little chicken, a little peanut. There he is. Little peanut. Cold still fish. Cold still peanut. Smacking a dog out of me. He is so close. Is he not close enough? I don't know. Yeah, he's over. He's 
right at the bottom jaw, 20 and a half inches. He'll keep. All right, guys, we got we got a couple of mahi in the boat. We're gonna go back and uh, get these filleted up and do a catch and cook for you. So come along with us. We're gonna ride in and uh, show you how we cook these fish up. We're gonna make some fish tacos. I think so. Yeah. Fish tacos. With his famous salsa. Yeah. All right, come go with us and stick here with uh, for the catch and cook. Tacky, as always. Hey guys, look back through our videos. Um, I did a, if you're wondering about this knife sharpener that I'm using, I wouldn't want to clean fish without them, uh, without using this. And I've got a video, if you scroll back through our videos, uh, quite a while ago, I did a full review on this. It's called the Work Sharp. Here, I'll hold it up here where you can see it. And a few people asked me what model it was. It's this WSKTS, I guess. There's a lot of different models of them. That's what I have. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. These things will put an edge on your knives like you wouldn't believe. It'll even bring old knives back to shape. So uh, take a look at that old video. Might be something, a good gift for somebody. This is a pretty good mahi right here. What's in the cooler? That's Ooh, pretty good. Mahi. Well, I mean, not a good one, but. Well, it's dinner. <laughs> Hell of a lot better than we've got lately. <laughs> yes. And Molly's thankful for dinner, too. Yes, yes. Ron Austin showed me how to do this. Instead of skinning those out like everybody else does, you just come in here and get right on the bloodline and turn out like that. You don't have to skin them out or anything. You don't have to cut the bloodline out. You don't get that stuff from the back like that on your fillets. That's the easiest way to clean mahi I've found yet. Nice little trick. Yeah. There's Molly, the duck dog, waiting for fish sandwiches. Isn't she cute? Got to get my rice mixed just just right. So we have a few toppings. We have some coleslaw, avocado salsa, homemade, and red peppers. We have a nice plate of mahi strips ready for the fish tacos. What do you guys say about that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yet. All right, y'all, so we're making fish tacos tonight, specifically mahi tacos. My mom asked me all the time for a simple recipe that she can do at home just for her. So, Mom, this one's for you. This one's easy peasy. Simple fish tacos. Get yourself a filet of fish that you like from the store since you can't go out on the boat and catch it. I preheated my glass bowl to 400 degrees. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in there. And I'm going to just let that heat up. I already had my glass dish preheated, but I'm going to let that olive oil heat up in there just for a minute or two. It'll come up to temperature really fast since that was already preheated. The only thing I'm gonna use on the fish tonight is this Badia uh, seafood seasoning. This used to be called Badia redfish seasoning and some of our viewers told me that uh, it's now changed to seafood seasoning. This is my favorite seasoning on fish if you're gonna blacken it or bake it, bake it or anything like that. I'm gonna just spread this body on there and I'm doing it kind of thick tonight with the seasoning because we're using it in tacos. So I want it to be very flavorful inside the taco. My olive oil heated up for just a few minutes there and I'm gonna just take my mahi and put it right in there. You can hear it sizzle, it's perfect. And these are little bitty pieces of mahi. This was the strips we had left over. Um, we saved all the big chunks for another night. This is perfect for tacos, but you can hear it sizzling in there, and I'm going to 
try to get it all in there and maybe I will, maybe I won't. All right, then I'm just going to hit this other side real quick with another layer of the body. In. Put that back in the oven and this won't take long. Maybe 10 minutes, I'm thinking. Maybe not even that long. 10 minutes, something like that. This is my homemade salsa. And you can look it up on our channel if you go back through our videos. I think I called it World's Best Salsa. Mm -hmm. World Famous Salsa. I don't know. <laughs> World's Best Salsa, I think so. This salsa is delicious, guys. Make sure you look up that recipe on the channel. It's, it's awesome. Everybody that eats it loves it. Or at least they're lying to me well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's where I'm going with it right now. So see how the tips are just starting to brown a little bit? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I That's see that. That's about as done as I want right there. Otherwise, you'll dry it out too much. That was total of what? Eight minutes? Nine minutes maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And dry fish is not good fish. Yeah. No dry mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. All right. So I like to start mine with sour cream. About like that. Get me a little spread of sour cream in there. And then I'm going to take my fish. Put in there just like this. Oh, my fish gets all down that good sour cream like that. A little bit of black beans on there. Not a ton. I want yellow rice on mine. A little avocado scattered out in there a little bit. I can roll those in, no problem. A little cabbage, of course some cheese. Everybody loves cheese. And a little dab of my salsa. Not too much of that and make it too runny. Beautiful. That's a fat taco. That's a, that's a good taco up. right there. Little trick I learned. Get you some sour cream. Put you a little bit right there and rub it real thin like that. Acts like glue. The other trick is stick a Boom. pick in it. That works better like that. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our catch and cook today and uh, try those tacos out. I hope you like them and make sure you look back at that salsa recipe too. I think you'll enjoy that. Anyway, uh, join us next time on Gables on the Go and uh, maybe we'll catch some more fish or something or no, I don't like that. What should I say? Join us next time. On... Join us next time for the adventures of Gables on the Go. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just keep it simple. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot. Join us next time on Gables on the Go. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. See you then.